Hello my sock universe and welcome to the what to watch for the weekend where yeah there are a few interesting games in the top four five leagues if you want but I think the most charged one is probably happening in Greece so uh, we'll look into that but uh, in most leagues it's kind of this intermediate round. First of uh, March that's where it will get crazy. I'm wearing Leicester because they're part of one of the little bigger games that we will see. But we'll start off in Spain where we have a Friday game between Betis and Mallorca. Yeah, Barcelona plays in the coveted four o'clock spot against Eibar, which for once is not the big game. Real Sociedad Valencia though, I think that's the game of the round in Spain. Now, hold back on that. Getafe Sevilla, that on Sunday is the big one. Uh, I see Atletico Madrid, Villa Real, yes, Levante, Real Madrid. You know, um, the big boys should get easy wins, but with Barcelona, you never know how easy it will be. And the others, yeah, uh, we'll see. But I think Real Sociedad against Valencia and Getafe Sevilla, those are pretty interesting games. Um, in England, I think the most charged one happens right at the beginning is the first game between Chelsea and Spurs. Uh, that is, uh, Spurs is only one point behind Chelsea. In fifth spot, we know fifth spot could potentially suffice to make it in the Champions League, but still, if you want to make a top four finish, uh, here's a chance Spurs to beat Chelsea. On the other hand, Chelsea actually looked bad, um, you know, I think it was in December or something, uh, and then uh, Chelsea beat them anyway. Uh, Leicester City at home to Manchester City, I think that's a big matchup. Um, that could produce something interesting. Other than that, uh, if I look for historically big names, Arsenal, Everton doesn't sound bad, and of course Liverpool, West Ham, but uh, who is expecting anything but a very clear Liverpool victory despite their poor showing in Madrid. Um, in the Bundesliga, we get the rare Friday night game with Bayern Munich. Um, they are preparing for a Champions League against Pal Paderborn. Should be a beatdown, I would expect. Then there are three games. I mean, Hertha Köln is not a good match, but at least there is some ring to it. Uh, even more so for Werder Bremen against Borussia Dortmund. That was interesting because Werder Bremen beat Dortmund in the cup not too long ago at home. So there's something. And Schalke Leipzig, uh, that's at least, you know, um, a, a matchup between two top six teams. And it's basically the matchup of the weekend. On Friday, we have the... Uh, on Friday. On Sunday we have the Europa League teams playing except for Frankfurt who actually play Monday evening. Uh, the, those games will not happen anymore uh, next season but for this season we have five Monday games and that's one of those. Uh, a similar story in Italy where I think the big name match is Fiorentina Milan but uh, both teams are in the middle of nowhere. If I look for the title contenders you were a way to spell Typically an easy win, but you never know with Juve. We have Lazio at Genoa, which Genoa just had a big result, but Lazio should get a win out of there. We have Atalanta at Sassolo. That's an interesting one, because Sassolo also usually plays a little bit more open. Uh, and then, of course, Inter late against Sampdoria. Let's see, uh, should also be an easy win for Inter. But yeah... Um, you would expect the three to win, but maybe someone will trip up, especially with two away games for Juve and Lazio. Uh, in France, there are a few big name matchups, but I'm not sure if the table backs that up. Marseille, Nantes, those are two uh, historically big teams. We also have PSG against Bordeaux, but if you look at the table, it's all teams on the top versus team on the bottom, and the team on the top has a home game. So even that does not really lend itself to being really exciting. A little bit more excitement we have in Turkey. First of all, we have Sivaspor, who have lost now twice in a row, uh, at home to Alanyaspor, another team that's kind of up there, uh, but uh, meddling in the title race where no one gives a chance. I think it's the last chance game for uh, either one of these teams. We have new leaders Trabzonspor play away to Besiktas, so that is a potential trap game uh, for them, especially since Besiktas is coming a little bit up. And then, of course, the big one, Fenerbahce in Galatasaray. I think that uh, will be, as always, a game with cracking atmosphere. Unfortunately, as far as I know, there are no away fans because uh, things are getting too heated in Turkey. Um, 
I give you Austria because I'm from Austria and we always talk about but a similar story as with all the other leagues. Um, the two title contenders, Lask play at home to St. Pölten. Yes, Lask has not been as great at home as they have been away, but St. Pölten is a must win. And Austria at home to Salzburg is a big name matchup, but Austria is nowhere and they would actually desperately need a win there too. For Salzburg at the moment, it doesn't matter honestly too much you still have the championship round again i keep repeating myself until we win the championship but all the games only count 50 50 percent because points get slashed after uh the first go around is completed and then speaking of heated probably the most heated game this weekend and i'm aware that there is a fenerbahce galatasaray clash but i think park against olympiakos um Seems to be a highly pivotal game at the moment. Pauk is a few points behind Olympiakos. If they win, they will take the top of the table. Um, it screams to me that this will end in a draw somehow. But the big one, the bigger match is probably in the court. Uh, I heard that on the day after, where the sentence will come down on Pauk how many points, or if there will be any points at if they will go down and so on. Um, no matter how it goes, I think there will be a riot. <laughs> I think we don't need to talk much about it. Um, the game by itself will scream draw, but given the passionate and the hatred between those two teams and those two ownership groups especially, I think uh, the Power fans will give it their all. And let's see where this will go. Um, super heated, super heated match. And I, I'm expecting... Honestly, the worst there, but let's see how it will go. Let me know what you'll be watching. If there are any interest games that interest you, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, this little preview of uh, the upcoming weekend, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you did so, drop a comment below what you'll be watching. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will be talking to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.